Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the 12th and the 13th, from the 12th to the 13th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid because I have been finding that these daily vibes are more prominent. They could be come three days to a week later. You know, it's like, oh, shit, all of a sudden I something happens in my life. And it's like, she's and crow, that was a week ago, you know. I... I, that came up a week ago in my daily vibes, so keep in mind that these the timing is fluid, okay? These are kind of like a predictor, you know? Or this could have already happened because we're all on different timelines, so just keep that in mind. So I just figured I'd cut this and see what I could come up with. We get the King of, King of Swords in reverse. This is kind of like an abusive energy. Okay, so somebody could be um, feeling abused or angry, upset, not being logical. There could be a withdrawal of some sort, you know. Um, maybe even some manipulation going on in your life. But this is an abusive behavior, so, so just be careful. The King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is who this represents. And it's funny, I started this out, I started this out with telling you about a week, you know, things happen about a week later, that's what's been happening for me. And one in particular was when the King of Swords was at the end, okay, and I was like, see, you coming to save me? That was in the reading, you coming to save me? And then like a week later, I, I have this King of Swords that is prominent so um just keep in mind that you know the timing is fluid um now this could be lies it could be manipulation somebody that is dishonest unfair you could be treated being treated unfairly just keep that in mind Now, you could be dealing with somebody that is just out for themselves. So keep that in mind as well with the King of Swords reverse. This person is only thinking about themselves and that's it. That's it. Okay. And that could be any sign, but that's the energy of that card. <laughs> Page of Swords reversed. Okay. Immature. <laughs> that. Difficulty in communication. You know, maybe withholding communication. You could be dealing with somebody who is, you know, uh -huh. can't speak up because they're so immature. That could be the case. Now, like I said, it could be any sign. Whew! We have some fated events here. Something is happening. Okay, we have the tower right next to the wheel. With the three of wands and i think that you're kind of prepared for this you maybe you have been prepared being preparing yourself for this change of course knowing that something was going to happen okay and maybe you've been trying to avoid it maybe you've been in denial about it maybe you've been trying to avoid the conflict of whatever this is but it looks as though There is going to be some sort of change. That is going to bring something more exciting to your life. Okay? There is. There is. You know... It's funnier, it's funny because this morning, as when I came over here to start this reading, I sat down, I sat down, you know, and uh, I look at my computer always before I start a reading and I go through things, and for some reason I, I said to myself, this girl is on fire, this girl is on fire, so I started looking that up, and here we have this, fire, okay, so somebody you know, is relighting that fire within and breaking something down, 
changing their course. They could be moving, okay, because this is moving, you know, broadening their horizons. This is dealing with conflict, even when it's not pretty. You have to deal with it. You're going to have to. There's probably something undesirable happening with the tower. Okay, there's, there is. There is. Something's happening that's probably going to make you uncomfortable. But it's changing your course. For the better. Ooh, 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 it's definitely, it's happening, oh my goodness, so it's, we definitely have uh, air energy, okay, we had the king of swords, now we have the queen of swords, the knight of swords, and the page of swords, so we definitely have thoughts going on here, somebody is really thinking, 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 and it could be a little bit destructive, the thoughts, there is going to be some destruction, so just Beware. Very powerful, powerful cards. Okay, so um, <laughs> something needs to be cleared up. <laughs> something needs to be cleared up. There's been some dishonesty. There's been some sort of conflict that's been avoided. And you can only avoid the conflict for so long before it bursts. You know, before somebody bursts. Something is going to burst, okay? Because it's time for a change. It's time for a change. It's, it's time for um, the truth to come out. It looks like it's time for the truth to come out. And... Somebody's about to go through some sort of awakening. It could be a rude awakening, okay? This is a rude awakening. This is an awakening. This is the rude awakening. So somebody is probably going to have a rude awakening that um, propels them forward down a new path. I mean, that's what this is. Um, this awakening that needs to happen is happening to open your eyes, seriously, to wake up, to see things clearly, to, to help you to see things through a new perspective, to get your ass in gear, okay, to relight that fire within, okay, your ass, your, your horse might need a kick in the ass, or you might need a kick in the ass, but the kick in the ass is about to come, okay, that's what I, that's what I feel, that's what I see, because somebody needs to to stop, you know, playing the victim. They need to get out of that victim mentality. They need to stop letting their insecurities hold them back. They need to forgive. They need to move on. You know, somebody has been staying in a state of of emptiness, a lack of closure, a, a lack of a forward movement, just living in an empty, like an empty state of mind. I feel empty, I feel incomplete and poor me, that kind of thing. And here comes the universe to relight that fire, you know. So, I mean, we have two universe cards. We actually have, I mean, we have some majors here, but we have the tower and the world. Those are both universal cards. It's when the universe says, okay, enough is enough. Enough is enough. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to see the situation as it is and assert yourself and get the hell out of this situation, even if it hurts, even if you don't want to. Some of you keep looking back. You keep looking back, looking back, looking back. Oh, and this is like a stalking energy. It's time to stop. It's time to just move on. Now, there is about to be a, a change of events, okay? There's going to be a change of events in which it allows you to release and forgive, okay? 
So be prepared to move forward towards something better. That's what's going to happen. You go, you're going to move forward towards something better, but you may have to you may have to ask for help. Okay? You may have to ask for help. It may cost you some money even to move forward. But it is going to allow you whatever is happening, whatever this this event, this this shake up that happens is going to allow you or push you to release because you have a more passionate fertile opportunity waiting for you to to see it okay but if you keep looking back you keep looking back you can't see the new opportunity all right so i feel like at this time somebody is going to get some sort of it could be a message that you don't want to hear, okay, with the Page of Swords. You could receive a message from another person, you know, uh, maybe from an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a message from another person that hurts. This message hurts. It, it stabs you, you know. You receive this message and, you know, it's, you receive some communication that perhaps you didn't want to hear, but it 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 changes you, you know, it changes you. It could be that rude awakening, it could be that little, it could be something little, it could be that big, it could be okay. This is what I needed to hear to relight that fire. Okay, so you could hear something from another person that really hurts, okay? Just keep that in mind. And, and, and it, But it allows you to to move on, and it allows you to... Let go of an empty situation, okay, um, to release and forgive. So just prepare. That's for somebody. For another another person, <laughs> there could be some sort of event that happens that makes you feel like you've been left out, that you, like you're a victim, you know, like you're a casualty of some sort, you know. They may, it may make you feel like you're, you're really insecure. It may bring about, bring up some of your insecurities. Okay. Um, but bringing up your insecurities and facing them allows you to cross that barrier, you know? So the Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It's good fortune. It's destiny. It's a change of course. Whatever is happening at this time is happening for your highest good, okay? So something much, much better is on the way after this event is bringing you. I mean, you could even get... You could even get some money out of this. I mean, you could get some money out of this, but you could also lose some money because it's a gamble. It's it's a win win or lose situation. Okay, it's a it could be it could go either way. You could you could you may lose in the beginning and win at the end. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, this world card reversed is this is needing to complete this cycle. This cycle that you have been in needs to be completed. That door needs to be closed. But somebody has been refusing. They've been refusing the, the destined plan. They've been refusing to step over that finish line. They've been refusing to end this chapter, this phase. But there's no... You're not in control. Destiny and fate is in control. Okay? So I feel like there is going to be some sort of change in course that allows you to, or pushes you, you know, gives you that, or really pushes you, gives you that nudge forward that pushes you towards the end, okay? Pushes you towards the end, the end, at the end of the book, the end, okay? That's what this is. So somebody has been 
preparing for this ending, but not finding the ability to actually read that last page. <laughs> So I feel as though with this judgment card, somebody is about to wake up, release, and forgive. Accept the truth. In many decks, this card is labeled truth. Okay? Accept the truth. A secret is about to be revealed or there's about to be a revelation that changes your course. Something is going to happen that changes your course. Be prepared. Remember that I said that the timing is fluid. These readings have been happening for me three days to a week out. So wait for this to happen. There is going to be a new passionate beginning that is so hot, you know, that is so fiery that you're going to feel like on top of the world. So allow it to happen. Don't fight it. When things fall apart, it's for a reason. It's so that you can refind yourself again. So that this is new growth. So for some of you, there there could be a new partnership coming into your life after you face this truth that is about to be revealed, okay? You could hear it from another person. <clears throat> I didn't even get to shuffle. It fell out. When I, I picked the deck this up, this card fell out. Card. Lar, <laughs> if I can even talk. Law of Attraction. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends, so invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. And that's what's happening. This is a higher frequency. It is. So whatever is happening with this tower and wheel is happening for your highest good. So be prepared for a little bit of... Well, I think you're going to... With that King of Swords at the beginning, and I said abusive, whatever. This guy is only out for himself. When you get this, this information, this person may be... Whoever this person that is giving you this information may be saying it just to be mean. You know, they're not a happy camper. This person may want to tell you this information because they're hurting inside. So that, And that's what I think this is. So I think you could be dealing with an, an air sign, by the looks of things, that is going to provide you some news. Okay, they're going to, they're gonna, you know, give you a call or a, send you a message or come visit you or something. They're going to come, they're going to give you some news that you don't want to hear. This is something that you don't want to hear. But this news, and they think they th they're going to walk away all proud because, you know, they hurt you, unfortunately. You know, that's what it looks like to me. They're going to be like, yeah, ha ha. You know, and it's not, be and it's, it's almost like they don't, they might not even think that they hurt you or, or maybe they're trying to hurt you. I don't know. Could There's so many, um, well, the King of Swords reverse, mean people in the world. There's a lot of mean people in the world. So just be prepared for this. You know, they come in, they, they figure, you know what, well, they're hurting in their own way, whatever, about something. And you know how people, they like to, misery loves company. So they like to, you know, push their hurt onto another person. So anyway, I feel like that's what this is. I feel like you're going to deal with somebody who comes in and they just say something really, really hurtful about something that you, um, have invested in the past, you know, and it's gonna, it's really gonna hurt. They're gonna leave like nothing ever happened, and you're, it's gonna push you forward. It's gonna be an epiphany. You're gonna, that's, it's gonna be the nudge that you need to move on, okay? And this person doesn't even care if they hurt you, okay? They're just, they don't even think before they talk. So be prepared, okay? 
be prepared. Whatever this is, um, it's going to help you. It is going to help you. It's not. It's going to hurt, but it is going to help you. So be prepared for that. Um, that nudge forward. The universe works in mysterious ways, right? I mean, that's what this is. This is the universe working its magic mysteriously. So be prepared. There's a new new beginning here. Okay, there is. There's a new beginning that happens after this uncomfortable conversation that comes in. There's a new beginning. Your fire gets relit. Okay, that's what's going to happen. And there is. There's a major new beginning here that is going to bring you something... Um, much, much better. I love it when they fall out. It's your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Ooh. Good luck. Good luck. Good fortune is on its way. It is. And perhaps you just have to forgive. And maybe that's what you need to learn from this. You know what? I need to forgive, even without an apology. I need to release. <clears throat> I need to clear. <laughs> And I keep saying clear because I keep having to clear my throat and I don't know why. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering in your life. Blessings in all forms are cascading into your life. Just as the rainbow has all the colors of the spectrum, so is every hue of your life blessed. This is a great time to start a project, initiate a relationship, purchase a house, begin a health program, start a new job, or change careers. Let go of hesitations and concerns. Whatever your dream for the future, this is the time to start your succeed. Remember I said something about moving. You know, you could be moving jobs, you could be moving house. Whatever is happening, it's meant to happen. Do not doubt the plans that are you're thinking in your head because the time is now. For a passionate new beginning elsewhere. When the rainbow appears in the sky above or in, in an oracle deck, have faith that blessings are abounding. Count your blessings. Be grateful for ones received and know that many lie ahead for you. In the deepest sense, you are the blessing. In many ways, the rainbow is a messenger from the Creator, letting you know that all is well. This card can also indicate that it's time to add some color to your life. Paint a room, change the colors of your curtains, or simply spice up your life. Light that fire within. Show the world what you got. So anyway, I feel there is a change of course on the horizon that comes via a person that doesn't think before they talk. But this message that you receive or this happening or whatever moves you forward in a much better, fertile direction. Talk to you tomorrow.